Hi guys and welcome to Lab with Jojo. Um, I know I've been away for a well, a while. You know, I just got caught up with things and things that I had to sort out and do. But you know, I've been thinking to myself like, you know, my exam was originally scheduled for the thirtieth of August, and while I was doing some practice tests, and I thought, Jesus Christ, like, you know, chapter one to ten, like eighty, hundred percent, then chapter. 11 to 15 like 87 percent and then when i got to like 15 to 24 i thought jesus christ i need some more work and um one thing that i've got to admit that i've not been doing that much is i've not been labbing as much so there was certain stuff that came up in my in my practice tests and i thought you know if i'd labbed more i would have got this answer correct so um i started to take a new a new approach to how i study so I was watching a video of, uh, of uh, Duane Light, Duane Lightfoot and he uses OneNote. So what he does, he gets the exam topic and puts it into a notebook and then you've got your sections and then you could also put the exam topics and then you could like, for example, compare and uh, contrast the OSI TCP model. And then from there you can start jotting your notes. So whenever you're going back for revision, you could go back to your OneNote, look for the specific a topic click on that and go over your notes which i think is a brilliant idea by the way um i'm going to be doing a screen share uh shortly to show you guys what i used to study so you know for example when you want to do um flashcards i've got a website for that that you can go and prepare your flashcards and um, you know what i use to lab uh stay tuned hi there and we're back again so i said to you guys i was going to show you what i used to study and here we go. So one of the thing, one of the software that I used to study is OneNote. It's OneNote, which is a very good software. So as you can see here, I've got the exam titles, and within the exam titles, I've got the percentage that it holds. On the right hand side, you can see the the pages that I've included for each page. For each page on the topic, I can include, um, well essentially put my transfer the notes from my handwritten notes onto OneNote and you know usually when you when you're reading the CSENT book uh, you see some diagrams and you think oh god I can't remember that diagram you'd handwrite that diagram or you try to draw that diagram but what I can do is I can snip snip from that diagram into OneNote as you can see I've done it for a few things already the TCP IP architecture layer the HTTP protocol mechanism and so on so yeah, OneNote's a very good tool which I'll be fully utilizing. And um, yeah, my new way to take notes now, um, it can be shared through the cloud, you can view it on your phone, you can, there's plenty of stuff that this can do that I'm still exploring myself. So once I've figured some more stuff out, I'll come back to you guys and show you guys on how you can use different stuff. Uh, actually, you know, if any, any of you guys that are watching this, uh, just drop a comment uh, below and tell me, uh, what you use a OneNote for, or if you use OneNote, or if you don't use OneNote, what are you using instead? I'd like to know. So yeah, um, what I also use is the www.cram.com flashcard. So basically you sign up to the website. This is free by the way, guys. Uh, you sign up to the website, you put your questions and the answer. So you'd essentially look at it. So what are example of TCP IP transport layer uh, transport layer protocols, which is UDP and TCP. Uh, to so you would obviously write that down, and then the answer will be revealed. The protocols are UDP and TCP. So I'm going to be doing this for all the topics on the CSEM book, and uh, you can download the app on your phone. And it's just you see the question, uh, you say you obviously you think in your head what it is, you click next, and then it tells you whether it's well, you were able to know whether it's uh, wrong or not. Uh, what I also follow as a guideline is the the um, Cisco um, exam topics, which is uh, obviously used as a baseline, so you know where you're going, you're following a structure, so you're not just reading all over the place. Uh, if you get stuck or if you're stuck on a section, you know which part on the exam topic it is, so you can put more practice in, you can get more work in. And uh, what I do to, like, sometimes, you know, reading can get 
I say, I say boring and you want to see something visual, especially for those visual guys, you can go to Udemy. You know, you've got Chris Bryant, you've got David Bormel, you've got Laz, which are all good guys that I use to, to, to supplement with my CCNA studies. So Chris Bryant, subnetting, subnetting um, section is really good. You've got your David Bormel, his uh, packet tracer labs are excellent. You've got Laz. He explains topics so clear. So, yeah, uh, this is the few things that I used to study. I'd like to know what you guys used to study. So if you could uh, drop a comment and I'll, I'll definitely reply, you know, and uh, share if you like this video, actually. So, yeah, um, I'm, sign I'm signing out and I'll be back with an another video shortly. See you guys.